Welcome to another new Cash Quick Start tutorial. I'm Laura from the BusyBPost.com. In this tutorial, Entering Simple Transactions, you will learn how to enter simple income and expense transactions into the new cash account registers. And I've included some helpful tips to get you started utilizing the program quickly and easily. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful, please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up. Let's begin. We will begin by entering the business's equity opening balance, since the equity opening balance should be the first transaction entered in the register. The method will be the same for entering any other simple income and expense transactions. The first thing you'll need is the equity opening balance dollar amount from the banking account you plan to track in new cash. Typically the equity opening balance will be the amount of money the business owner starts with in their business checking account at the beginning of their business's yearly accounting period. Every account in the chart of accounts has an account register used to enter transactions. Entering simple transactions into an account register will always involve at least two accounts in the chart of accounts. You can enter a transaction directly into any one of the sub-account registers that applies to the transaction you're entering. Since New Cash is a double entry accounting system, no matter which account register you choose to begin entering the transaction into, the data will be automatically duplicated in the corresponding account register. However, beginning users may find it easier to begin entering their transactions starting with the checking account register whenever possible. To open the checking account register, click on the triangle on the left side of the assets account. Then click on the arrow next to current assets. Then click on checking account to highlight the account. You can right click on the highlighted account and select open account from the shortcut menu. Or you can select open on the toolbar. Or you can simply double click on the account name to open up the account register. Here we are inside the checking account register. The first thing you will notice about account registers is that account registers are set up similar to the way you would enter transactions into a checking account checkbook register. The checking account register is a bank account register. Think of the checking account register as a virtual carbon copy of your physical business checking account checkbook register. When entering transactions into the register, beware of the fact that the tab key and the enter key behave differently. Using the tab key is the recommended method for entering transactions. Pressing the enter key while entering a transaction will finalize the transaction and proceed to the next transaction row. Let's begin. In the first field, the date field, Here's where you can enter the date of the transaction. By default, the current date is displayed. If you need to change the date, you can click inside the date field text box and type the date in in the same format as displayed. Or you can click on the drop down arrow to open up the calendar you can use to change the date. You can use the arrows at the top of the calendar to change the month and or year, then select the day on the calendar by clicking on it. To close the calendar, click on the drop down arrow again, this time to close it. You could also have closed the calendar by moving to one of the other text field text boxes. A quicker method you could use to change the date, instead of typing the date in or using the calendar, for example, 
Right now, I'm on August 14th. When I enter a minus sign into the day field text box, it subtracts a day. Now I'm on the 13th, and as I continue to enter the minus sign, it continues to subtract the day from the date. If you want to advance the date by a day or days, enter the equal sign into the date field text box. In the num field, which is short for number, here is where you can enter a business check number or transaction number that applies to this transaction. Instead of having to type this into the num field, you can have the system automatically enter the numbers for you in numerical order based on the previously entered number you entered in the num field. For example, here I will enter 205 in the num field and I will start a new transaction and this time I will enter a equal sign in the empty num field text box. As you can see, the system automatically displays the next number in numerical order, 206. And I can enter the minus sign to subtract the number by 1 or enter a equal sign to increase the number by 1. The description field is used to enter a payee or any other information that describes the transaction. Here's where I will enter opening balance. New Cash has an autocomplete feature that stores in memory the data you enter in the description field. The autocomplete feature is designed to save you time on data entry. The way it works, the next time you begin entering the opening balance or any description you previously entered in the description field, the system will attempt to auto-complete the entry for you. If you need to add any additional information about a transaction, you can by displaying the notes field. To view the note field, select view on the menu bar, then scroll down to double line and click on the check box next to double line. Here you have the notes field. You can use any time you have a transaction which requires more space to enter information about that transaction. To hide the notes field and return to the basic ledger view, select view again and this time click on the double line checkbox to remove the check mark and return to the basic ledger view. The next field is the transfer field. The transfer field is one of the most important fields because here is where you will select the account from the chart of accounts that describes what the dollar amount you will be entering into this account register was used for or applies to. Since we are entering the business's accounting period starting balance, we will select the equity opening balance account. By clicking inside the transfer field text box to display the drop down arrow, you can click on to bring up the list of accounts. You can scroll through and select the equity opening balance account by clicking on the account name. As you may have noticed, the list of accounts in the transfer field can get pretty long and it can be time consuming scrolling through the list of accounts to search for and select an account. Instead of having to search for the account to save time, you can select an account by entering the first letter of the category of the account you're searching for. In this example, we were searching for the equity opening balance account. The equity opening balance account is listed under the equity category. Here I will enter a E for the equity category and then a colon and the first few letters of the name of the sub account. In this example OP for opening balance. And here it is. 
Now all I have to do is click on the name and the account is automatically entered in the text box. The next two columns will be different depending on the sub-account register you're using to enter the transaction. Since we're using the checking account register to enter the transaction, which is a banking account, the columns displays deposit and withdrawal, which are standard banking terms. The opening balance is entered in the deposit field. Here I will enter $500. Then I will select the Enter key on the toolbar to record the transaction and Save on the toolbar to save the changes. You may not have to select Save after entering every transaction because the system is programmed to display a dialog box asking if you want to save the changes before moving to another transaction or closing out. That's it. You've just finished entering a simple transaction. Just to recap, as I said in the beginning, a simple transaction involves two accounts in the chart of accounts. In this example, the two accounts involved are the checking account and the equity opening balance account. And since New Cash is a double entry accounting system, the data is automatically duplicated in the corresponding account, which in this case, since we're in the checking account, the corresponding account, as listed in the transfer field, is the equity opening balance account. If I wanted to view the corresponding account in a transaction, instead of having to go back to the chart of account screen to open up the equity opening balance account, you can click on the transaction row and then select jump on the toolbar to open up the corresponding account in a transaction. Here we have the equity opening balance account and here I can see the duplicate data automatically entered by the system. Now anytime you need to close out of any open windows listed on this bar Click on the X across from the title on the Title tab. Back on the Chart of Account screen, you should see the opening balance you just entered listed in the Checking Account and in the Assets Accounts. And the Net Assets as listed on the Status Bar should also reflect the amount entered in the Checking Account. Here I see the $500 opening balance I entered. Now you know how to enter your simple income and expense transactions in new cash. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode.